Hi, Ryan Max here from Extreme Visions Reviews. Today, I'm doing an unexpected video. I uh, have some good news and I got some bad news. Uh, first, started off, I went to Walmart yesterday. I went to check out their drone section to see what they had. You know, there was a couple of them I was kind of interested in grabbing up, but something caught my eye. They had a little drone, one of the micro drones, and it had a clearance tag on it for 10 bucks. So I checked it out to make sure it was straight, you know, a clearance item. It wasn't just someone just put in a random spot or put a sticker on it. So I'm like, hmm. So I start looking at it, you know, and in one of my videos I mentioned about getting a micro drone for my son. You know, because I'm not a real big fan of them myself. But there would be something to get started. My son started. Now he's on two. But he has an Amazon Fire tablet, the newest one that you can get out. Um, he has that thing figured out better than I do. He brings it up to me like sometimes it'll freeze up or something. He'll bring it to me, Daddy, Daddy, fix it, fix it. And I'm looking at it, and I try to mess with it a little bit, and then he'll go, Daddy, I can do it. And he'll take it, and he'll fix it. And I'm like... Why even ask me, you know? But he's very, very tech savvy for being only two. So I'm very appreciative. You know, I'm a very proud father about that. You know, I, I'm hoping I'm doing the right thing on how I'm teaching him. You know, what a, who what father doesn't want, you know, sometimes doubt themselves about that. But so far, so good. So anyway... I picked this thing up. It's the Propel Maximum. Maximum. It's a, a XO One Micro Drone. Okay. Now I'm looking at it, it says skill level beginner. So I'm like, okay, that's something that might, you know, give because he loves flying my. He loves messing with my drones. So I want to get him something that he could play with without having to worry about anything. The thing that sold me, and I wish more companies would do, is that right there. It says, unlimited replacement parts for one year from the date of purchase. So when you get your receipt, that date that you purchased this, one of these drones, you cover for a whole year. So... You have any problems, you get on their site and they got a, a club you got to join to get the parts. It's called Flight Club. Well, then you get on there and you find what parts you need. Bad part about it is the batteries and the propellers for this right here are sold out. The good news is, though, the, it comes with eight extra propellers so you got 12 propellers all together which I most companies don't do that either now this little thing you can actually change the battery on I didn't know that and they show you how to do that and of course there's the recharge plug and a little bitty on off switch, which kind of scares me sometimes, you know, it's so small, we're going to break it, kind of like Will Smith with the little bitty cricket, <laughs> but anyways, so, and here's the controller, I mean, my hands are huge, so this does not fit my hands very well, fits his perfectly, well, along with this, you get the extra propellers, you also get the screwdriver, which really you don't even need a screwdriver for because the propellers are just pull off and put on, but they fit on her snug. So, you know, I was kind of worried about that because there's nothing, no screw or nothing holding it on. What's going to keep it from going off? But they fit on her pretty snug. You got to make sure you press them down good. Um, you know, then, of course, the USB cable, all of them have it. Um, I don't know if anybody that actually gives you the block, all they give you is the cable. And this thing is small. 
I mean, it, you plug it in, it only goes one way. But see, if you, like, my son likes to run through the house and everything wobbles. Well, it wiggles out. So we've got to keep checking on it, make sure it's still staying plugged in. Now, keep in mind, I bought this yesterday. I've been showing him, you know, trying to get work with him on it. You know, when he first got a hold of it, you know, I, I messed with it. When I first got a hold of it, I did the same thing. You know, go to get it up in the air, and all of a sudden it slaps the ceiling. Okay, so I started to adjust for that. Well, he gets a hold of it, and he goes, and he slams it. Just shoves it up in here and it hits the ceiling. And it just kept bouncing and he dropped it. And then he did it again. It bounced off the ceiling, smacked the wall, broke one of the propellers right off the bat. Changed it out. Well, he, he's been doing, he's getting better. You know, he's gotten to where if it starts looking like it's going to hit the ceiling, he'll bring it back down. But he's, he, he's got to where he does it slow to where he can bring it down. The only problem is now is he gets kind of overexcited when it goes up and he slams it down as like he was doing with it going up. Uh, so today he's been he's been playing with it quite a bit. Well, today he's broke three blades. Okay, <coughs> so this three replacement stuff for a year will come in handy. You know. When it comes to getting first drones, that's something that I think most companies should do. They should put out like maybe one or two that are strictly for beginners and that you can get free replacement parts for a year. Even six months would be great. Um, the only thing they really don't cover now, and I don't blame them, is if you fly it in the water, they're not, it's pretty much your, you know, you might as well buy a new one. And most people have had that look where they're trying to get them beautiful arrow shots. Some, for some reason, you get on a lake and it's hard not to do it. And unfortunately, a lot of people have bought DJI Mavic, Phantom 4s, you know, very, you know, expensive drones, anywhere between eight to $1,500, sometimes even more and they fall into the water and you don't have any insurance you don't the warranty won't cover it so you're just out you know unless you know way you're a electric or a, someone that knows how to work on something like that and mess with the circuit boards and everything else know how to build something from scratch you pretty much just ruin just threw that money out the window so I, I try to stay away from water, even though I got my own little pond out here. But I don't get, I try not to get above it. I kind of go up in the air, but I kind of get where if something happens, I can pull it back. You know, and I don't let, I don't let it go too far away from me to where if something happens, my controller doesn't catch it. You know, I don't let that happen. Um. You know, I know a lot of people, they get real confident with their drones, and they push it. See, me personally, especially if I spend the kind of money I just don't know if I can do. You know, I would want to try to stay as close as possible to that drone. Well, so, we go to plan with this thing. It's got a bunch of different options, okay? For a little drone, it's got quite a bit. Like one, it does stunt flips, okay? Click that down once and flip it. He loves it. He, he hasn't figured out how to do it yet, but when I get a hold of it, he loves it when I do it. Um, and then, of course, you know, you get your throttle up and all that good stuff. Now, this thing has a four-channel mode and a three-channel mode, which if you don't know what that means, what that means is if... Your four channel mode, you have up and down your throttle, then you got your tilt, then you got your left, right, front, and back. Okay, that's your four. Then you got three channel, 
the three channel on this is up or throttle up down and then tilt and forward and back it doesn't have a turn you know you just spin so that's it so that one's a little it says putting three channel mode for beginners well to me it i'm not used to it, so it's kind of harder for me to do and of course he's used to it now where i think it would hinder him more than it would help him uh but to do it comes automatically in four channel in the four channel okay to switch it to three channel you hold this one down for three seconds and then it beeps when it beeps it's on three you hold it down again goes back to four so click the flip hold down to change the channels then you have the uh speed it's got three speeds low medium and high you do this one click it once beeps twice it's medium click it again beeps three times that's high go back in the low hit it again it'll beep once so pretty much basic layout you know but for a little drone it's not bad um getting used to it's a little challenging to me um trying to get it don't hover very well so you can't just like get it up in the air and let it sit there you know don't have the barometer for that so you have to it's, it's like the dx5 you know you got to constantly just kind of fiddle with it to keep it going you know this is one of them type of drones that's just made to race around you know um really in my house i my ceilings are like not even eight foot something like this you need at least a 10 to 12 foot ceiling to really get to play it real good without worrying about breaking something uh it definitely will not go outside because the way he is it'll be it'll be lost you know i got trees uh backyard got trash can you know there's just so much stuff that can happen in my carport got all my tools for working on my vehicles and everything else it gets in there it's gone um pretty sure we'll find it eventually but it'll, it'll be gone for a while it'll probably won't even be worth it but you get on their website you can order just the drone itself for 20 bucks the controller is ten bucks. Cable, ten bucks. The propellers don't have a price, so I'm pretty sure you know that's free, um, which is good. Uh, extra batteries are three dollars, which is bad, isn't bad at all. And I'm I'm actually shocked that the, that you can change the batteries out on this because like the uh, DX5 you can't. You know I went over that quite a few times. <laughs> Uh, for some reason, I always reference that drone. I guess because it's my first one, so I base a lot of stuff off of it. Um, and of course, you got your manual, and it tells you about your uh, how to do the blades, how to charge, you know, all that good stuff. Definitely read into it. Uh, then, of course, you got your warranty. And then, this little world thing here has... Are you having problems? Tells you how to settle it and get everything done. Phone numbers, all that good stuff. And then there's where it tells you about joining the flight club. And it says, join our flight club and receive unlimited replacement parts for up to one year from the date of purchase. So, like I said, that for ten bucks, I don't care if the, the thing was crappy. And you just couldn't do nothing with it for ten bucks, and you get free replacement parts for a year. This right here would be one of the most ultimate beginner drones that I could even think about. You know, granted, I'm used to the bigger ones. I'm used to being able to hover all it. So trying to get used to it after figuring that, after messing with the bigger ones. Is a little bit tricky, but 
for someone like him especially you know this the age recommendation on this is 10 and he's only two and having fun with it so very good investment for 10 bucks you can't beat it because worst thing that happened he slams it destroys it and it's gone i pay less than what you can buy just the drone itself so i'm not going to complain and that's pretty much why i bought it because if he's going to destroy something i'd rather him do something really cheap that i'm not worried about you know that i don't have to worry about replace um a few more things you know this is that was one reason why i wanted to make this video but i got a couple more things coming up that i wanted to inform you guys about there's four things i'm gonna save the worst for well the best for last i'll throw the worst one in the middle there first thing is sharper image i bought in a drone a while back from them not the dx5 but see, i was having problems with the dx5 and called them up and had some issues with it well they gave me a coupon for $25 off. Okay, cool. So I got on there, found a few different drones that I kind of want to check out. Well, I ended up with this uh, Sharper Image Aerial Acrobat Video Drone. Okay, it's kind of like the um, SEMA quads, you know, very basic, just four propellers, no real style to it, you know. Uh, you go on there and check it out. This thing glows in the dark, which is cool. You know, um, it's, the lights up on about, it's so bright. Like, there's a picture of it. Okay. I'm going to throw a few pictures. And as I go out, each thing I try to talk about, I'll throw a picture up with it. But um, that should be in on the 20th. Uh, the one that I ordered, when I got it in the remote, wasn't working properly like i was able to fly it somewhat but to take off i had to push the throttle or the sticks down and over to get put it in silent mode what it's called and that was the only way the propellers would spin up if i pushed up on it or tried to do anything else the propellers would not go so i had to do that then the digital readout on it wasn't working um it was pretty glitchy so I contacted them about said, look, man, this, you know, this ain't working that good. So they offered a replacement. So I had to send that one back, and they're going to send me a new one. Well, it should be here on the 20th. And when I get it in, I'm going to do a whole, from unpacking it all the way to the end of the flight for that drone. Uh, I do have an extra battery that's for it, that's fully charged. So that way I don't have to worry about the one that's with it um i can throw that on charger while i'm doing the review on that one uh it's not a fpv drone it takes the memory card four gig and then uh comes with the memory card reader that you plug up to your computer now from the way this thing flies when i did get it to fly it's very stable. I love the way it flew. I really didn't want to have to return it, but because of the problems with the remote, there was nothing wrong with the drone. It was the remote. So I had to do something about it because I'm sorry. If it's not working, it's not working. You know. So I returned it, and I said it should be here on the 20th, and it, it'll probably be here before anything else. So that'll probably be the next review I do. Well, if you get on sharperimage.com, and I've made, I've stated this in, in uh, video before, if you're going to buy any sharper image drones or products, stay away from the retail stores. Walmart, Target, any place that carries drones, do not buy the sharper image products from them. Uh, sharper image does not back them at all from the retail store. There's a separate company that you got to go through. Okay, if you contact Shopper Image, they'll just tell you what we can do. Uh, they don't even carry spare parts for them. The only thing that they do carry for is the, uh, the propellers. Uh, the 
because of this, they also sent me a free set of propellers for my uh, DX5, which was cool. Um, but anyways, you get on there, they have a thing at the top. You know, you click it, and it gives you anywhere between, I can't remember if it was 10 or 20%, all the way up to 50% off. And it does a random. So you click on it, it'll give you a, a promotional code that you put in at checkout. And then when you put that promotion code, it'll tell you, hey, you got this much off. Well, that does come in handy. I mean, who, who does that anymore? Nobody. Well, the sharper image, the drone that I got coming in from them, this thing retails for about 100 bucks. They have it on sale right now for $60. Oh, $59.99, but you know, 60 bucks. Now, you use a $25 gift certificate if you, if you get one. You know, 60 minus 25, then I think it was like $7 shipping. So it ends up being like just over 30 bucks, which ain't bad at all. Um, the way it flies, everything else, the only thing I didn't like is the fact that it's not uh, FPV. That's pretty much all. Only complaint I had about it besides the remote. But when it comes in, I'll do a complete review on it. And hopefully, there's no problems like we had with that one. Now, I got another one coming in. It just shipped out yesterday. Uh, it's called the uh, Skyco Predator M72. Okay, which is pretty cool looking drone I've looked it up and did some research on it and here's some pictures uh, seems like no one really has much of a complaint and then a lot of people kind of say it's more of a like very beginner style drone because it's the controls and the way everything works on it it just seems like that's a type of drone so it's not very fast. Uh, it lights up like there's no tomorrow. I mean, look, it's bright. Um, and like I said, it sh looks like it flies pretty good, but we'll find out. I'll do a, uh unboxing on that and then have the battery charged, and then I'll do a, a flight with it. Um, now this I'm going to get into is going to be kind of a, bad situation um was on walmart about, about a month ago not even, a little bit almost a month ago i was checking out their drones that they had online well i went to the clearance section of the drones well i see they had this d97 which looks just like the arrow acrobat you know so this was blue and white um and it had FPV available, it, where the Aero Acrobat don't. Well, it was like 12 bucks. I was like, you can't beat any kind of drone for 12 bucks, you know, come on. So, I ordered it. Well, almost two weeks goes by, it finally shows up. Well, it ain't a drone. What I got in the mail fit in my mailbox. A 12 by 12 drone is not going to fit in a mailbox. So automatically I knew something was wrong. Well, open package. That's what I got. I don't know if y'all can really tell what that is. But this is an OBD2 car scanner. You plug it in any car from 96 up. To present has an OBD2 port inside the car so I'm usually on the driver's side well this thing you plug into it and there's apps that you can get on your phone which I have Torque Pro and there's a paid version I used to do a lot of mechanic work so when that come out I had to have it so that way it helps diagnose vehicles it does the check engine lights it does real-time data uh air fuel ratio uh 
shift lights, I'm about, it's got it all, you know, uh, tells you everything that's going on with the vehicle. Well, I got my own little OBD2 scanner that goes with it and it hooks up to Bluetooth. Well, this isn't what I ordered. Nowhere near what I ordered. So, I contact Walmart. Walmart proceeds to tell me that it was sold by third party. Excuse me? Bought the two-year protection plan through Walmart. Now, how are you going to sell a protection plan for a product that you are not going to back if there's a problem? Somebody right with that. Well, they give me the number to call the third party. It's in Hong Kong. I don't speak any other language but English. You know, granted, I wish I did have a little bit more bilingual education, but I don't. It's I just speak English. And um, so when I call this place, I can't understand the recording at all. And I have, I'm sitting here going, wait, you just give me a phone number, you can give me an email, you can give me no other contact but a phone number, and how am I supposed to communicate with someone if I can't understand what they're saying? You know, that's not right. There should be some other way of doing this. So I get on their website, on Walmarts, and find out the seller. The seller is called Hongrel. H O N G R U L Electronic Commerce Company, Hong Kong. Okay. I email this company. Tell them the situation. You know, of course, I was a little irate about it. You know, I try to keep it down to a minimum, but I still was a little upset. Uh, they emailed me back. Want me to send pictures of what I was supposed to get and pictures of what I received. So I send them the pictures and explain to them, look, so I don't care who you are. I know humans are fallible. You know, things happen. But this a drone versus this, there's a big difference. Now, how do you mix something like that up? It's, that, that's a little hard to do. Well, anyway, they email me back and say, okay, we talked to our shipping department. They take responsibility. It was their fault. Uh, what we're going to do is we'll refund you 20% of the cost, and you can keep what you got, sell it, do whatever you want to with it. No. I, I don't play that. Uh, so I emailed them back. I said, okay, here's how we're going to do this. I want what I, the item that I ordered, or I want a full refund. Because this is not my fault. This is your fault, not mine. I should not have to pay for it. I should not have to worry about this. So they emailed me back. <laughs> You know, at the, that time I, I, I tried to keep my cool. I tried to, you know, let it go a little bit. You know, explain them, look, I'm not doing this. I'm This is how we're going to do it. They emailed me back going, okay, well, we're sorry that, you know, you're going through this and having such a hard time. Um, we'll refund you 30% and you keep what you have. Obviously, the translator from English to their language is broke. So I email them back. I'm going to tell you this one more time. I want what I paid for or a full refund, not a percentage. I didn't want this. You know, I'll be happy to send it back to you at 
you know, with reimbursement on the postage, since I had to pay shipping too, then you should have to pay shipping for me to send this crap back. So, I started doing some research on this company. You know, when you look at seller ratings, you know, they go off what positive reviews they've had. And they do it by percentage. You know, eBay, Amazon, everybody does this. Well, anybody that goes below a 90 percentile, I try to stay away from. You know, sometimes it might hit the 80s, you know. But if it drops below 80, there's no way I'm doing business with somebody. You know, I understand you cannot please everybody. There's no way you can that there's hard it's hard to get a hundred percent feedback, you know. That's rough to get nowadays because everybody's got something to complain about. You know, the the best you can do if you make a mistake, apologize and make the situation right. Which this company is not doing. You know, I don't know where they're coming up with that's the right thing to do because that's not. Um it seems like they're stalling for some reason and trying to really agitate me or taking me for a complete moron. Uh, maybe they don't have the product. Well, then refund my full amount and we'll be all right. I'll just find something else. Well, I look at their reviews. This company has a 54 percent positive review 50 54 percent that tells me that this place is scamming people that they that their customer service is not good at all because even if you make mistakes customer service usually takes care of that that's usually a lot of where Positive reviews come from from com for companies. It's through customer service. So that's telling me customer service is not doing their job. That they're screwing people. So if you get on Walmart.com or any other place, pay attention to what you buy, especially electronics. Because if you see this company, stay away from it. Do not to purchase it. I didn't know Walmart had third party sellers. But the thing that kills me the most is they tell me they will not refund the two year protection plan for an item I don't even have now. Okay, if you're not going to refund my money, then why are you selling something like this? You're not going to back this product then how can you take my money for a protection plan? So they won't refund it, but they won't touch this place of responsibility. Now, eBay and Amazon, which is strictly an online community, has buyer protection plan. The buyer is fully protected by these companies. So if you purchase something, if it's not right, it's broke, or you don't receive it, you will get either your product, another product, or your money back. There's no ifs, ands, buts about it. And eBay and Amazon and PayPal take care of this. And they're not the ones selling the products. They Everybody on these sites are third-party sellers. So... How can you sit there and tell me that you cannot do nothing about it? Walmart, that's a crock of crap and you know it. You're supposed to be, you know, you say you take care of your employees, you take care of your customers. No, you don't. As many jobs have you laid off, as many stores have you had to close, and how many people have you screwed by this? You're going to tell me you're not getting nothing out of this? There's no way. eBay gets something out of it. Amazon gets something out of it. Everybody gets it. You do not have third-party 
by sellers on a website and not make some type of profit off of it because that's not even worth your time. So you can't sit there and tell me that you didn't make something off of that sale. No matter how small a percentage it was, you made something off that sale. So how can you say that you're not responsible for that product? If they sell on your website, you are held responsible. Unless there's something in a clause that's, you know, I'm sorry. If eBay, Amazon, PayPal take care of their take care of the buyer or you know the buyers, then why can't you? That tells me you're part of that scam. Now I can sit here and preach all day long about how much I hate Walmart because I swear I hate. It. But unfortunately, Walmart has everything that people need, and no matter how much I say. I'm not doing business with Walmart ever again. That's a bold-faced lie because, unfortunately, I'm going to have to do business with them because the uh, little mom-and-pop stores around here, I love supporting them, but there are certain things they don't carry that I got to have. Um, a lot of it's like dog food, um, diapers for my son. You know, there's a lot of stuff they got that I have to have, and some of these stores, unfortunately, don't. If they did, trust me, I would tell Walmart to kiss my butt and go on somewhere well then of course you got the whole boycott situation well I can sit here and try to boycott Walmart all day long it ain't gonna happen too they're too big of a company too many people do shopping with them I mean and not enough people care about individuals as buyers so if I say let's boycott, I could probably get a handful of people that would back me on that. A handful of people ain't going to hurt Walmart. You'd have to have millions of people to stop, to be able to hurt that company. And unfortunately, I know for a fact you <laughs> you can't get them numbers. I'm about Walmart had to do some bad things to stop for people to stop doing business with them. Oh, very bad and laying people off or firing a bunch of people closing down stores isn't hurting their business and them not taking care of their employees like they're supposed to is not hurting their business then what I'm going through psh, ain't going to touch them so no point all I'm going to sit here and do is bitch and complain and that's it but mainly I just trying to look out for all my viewers this company is screwing people over they're taking money and running and sending out whatever these things right here you can get on wish for a couple of bucks maybe I mean I got one for free the one I got is a little it's about that that big plugs in it lights it's white it lights up connects to my phone boom there we are so you gonna tell me that this one right here is a twelve dollar ob2 no I don't think so even if you give me thirty percent it still ain't worth that so no I'm not keeping it because you even, even if I could sell it I wouldn't get but maybe five dollars tops on about that's top dollar for one of these in my opinion you know i'm pretty sure somebody probably get more than that out of it but uh, you know me personally i'm not out trying to screw people either so i know what something is actually worth and what i'm going to pay for it. so just watch that company now on to a bigger and better situation since i got that out of the way now I can get back into my happy mood because something very 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 bitching has happened to the other day and I got confirmation today that it, it shipped out now no I wish I could get you know a Mavic or a Phantom 4 or anything you know one of the bigger guys but that ain't gonna happen right now um 
Bunky. I don't know if anybody, I'm pretty sure somebody's heard of him. Uh, Bunky has a 506 HG drone. Okay, they got, I think, two versions of it. One of them has a, um, the ball style camera with the uh, gimbal on it, you know. With, and on that one, you can actually control the up and down on the camera with the remote, which is pretty nice. But this one has the box style camera because they said that the, the round one was breaking too easy. People were removing it or something and it would break. So they switched it over. You can still buy them, but they have a different one out that has a box style, like the GoPro, but I don't think it's GoPro. Uh, but <laughs> this thing, most drones, their cameras are like two megapixels, okay? That's usually the tops for a drone. This one is a 12 megapixel, full HD 1080p camera. So I can't wait to take some pictures with this thing. This is going to be crazy. You know, I love the video of the Fuse X22, and that's a 2 megapixel. So to get a 12 megapixel full HD, oh, like the videos I took with the um, X22 were 720. And these right here are 1080, so th this should be pretty nice. Um, now, if you, of course, you've seen what the Blue McKee looks like or the 506 HG. They got a couple of different uh, models. Well, on there, uh, you go directly through them on Amazon. Okay, they got their own seller page for it, direct for their own uh, products. Now, I've seen, I've looked at the prices on these. And I think the most I've seen was like $215. They have it on Amazon right now for $99.99 for 100 bucks. You can get this. And this thing is like 20 by 20. It's huge. Almost two foot by two foot. Okay. It's huge. Um. And from what I'm saying, it weighs a good bit. This is probably one of the drones you would have to register with the FFA, okay? If you haven't registered, that's one you're probably going to have to go on. Um, it um, says that it can do flips. Well, a lot of people are having problems with it doing flips because of the camera, you know. But me personally, because it's so big and it has a, cam a camera that type of camera on it why do you want to do flips i mean are you that you just want to test it that bad sorry flips are the last thing on my mind when it comes to something like that you know these little littler drones yeah they're fun to do that stuff with but something that size i don't even want to think about it because you got to think when they do flips the bigger they are the wider the flip goes the more space you have to have between the drone and the ground to do a flip. You know, the micro drone, you can get it up a little bit, flip and it spins real quick. Um, like the X-22, to do a flip, I got to be almost 15 feet in the air, if not more, to do a good flip by hitting the ground. Um, so something that big, you'd have to get up there. And sorry, me personally, I don't see no interest in doing something like this. Now, the square camera style like I like I got coming in unfortunately you can't use the um, remote to adjust it which sucks you know but you know you gotta make sacrifices <laughs> um, now they got another they got a couple of different ones I was looking at now they got another one that has its own little monitor that hooks to the camera you know, and it's pretty cool. It's got the sunshade that unfolds over it, and it's cool. Um, and it comes with like five or six extra batteries. Now, this one 
comes with three batteries total. One the stock one and then two extra ones. These batteries are not like the rest of them that I have. They're not 3.7. These are 7.2 volts. So they're bigger. Plus they're 2,000 ma. Where I think the most I got right now is a 600. You know, so 2,000 ma, 7.2, that's a pretty big battery. Um, so, it's got three of those. So that should last me a pretty good bit. I should be able to do some pretty cool aerial shots. You know, so we'll see how everything plays out uh, when it comes in. Uh, I just got confirmation today that that shipped out. So, um, I'm super excited. Um... But the first one should be a sharper image. Then the Skyco. Then the Blumaki. Um, the D97. I don't even know what's going to happen with that yet. Now, if anybody has already done business with this company. Now see, if I can't get any further with them. It wouldn't do me no good. You know, $14. Whatever. You know. It ain't worth my time and money to invest to sue their asses for it. You know, it's only over fourteen dollars. I, I won't see enough money out of it to invest into it. Now, with that being said, if there's anybody else that's watching this, if you have had the same experience that I have with this company, please comment, message me, whatever you gotta do to get in contact with me. Um, I know there was a couple of people that have left reviews that I've seen. Like one person said they ordered that same drone and only got a box. Didn't get nothing in the box. Just got an empty freaking box. You know, so if anybody else is having that issue, please contact me. Um, I'm pretty sure if enough people got together, boy, it'd be worth take, taking legal action against them. You know, if we wanted to go that route, um, but we'll see how it goes. But I just want to give everybody fair warning: fifty-four percent positive feedback sucks. If it ain't at least eighty or above, I don't even want to think about doing business with a company like that. I mean, it's been a long time since I've seen anybody blow up. Maybe I. 89, 87. I mean, to see anybody below that mark is just amazes me, to be honest with you. You know, most companies that I see anymore that are still in business are up in the, you know, between 92 and 100. So that just kills me. Um, oh, no, I was going to tell you is also with that same D97 drone, you know, the retail on it was $14. I paid $12. Uh, it's on sale even cheaper now for $11. Um, now, if for some reason I'm able to get this thing and it works out, I'll let you know. And if it's worth it, then it's worth it. You know, 11, 11 bucks for... A 12 by 12 drone with FPV and uh, um, four uh, gig SD card. You know, it's it's got its perks if it comes in. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it comes with three batteries as well. But just beware. Um, the Skyco. Usually about thirty-seven bucks, almost forty. Uh, Rose Kaplan on Amazon. It's all one word. Rose Kaplan together uh, has it on sale for twenty-five ninety-nine, and I'll let you know how that one works out if it's a good buy or not. Um, the Bloomicky, I went over that one already. You know, get on Bloomicky through Amazon. And check them out. Like I said, they got a couple of different options that you can go with on that model. Um, I'm not sure if it's the same model number. 
it is still considered a 506 HG or if they change it up somehow but it's the same drone it's just different options um, like I said that one had five or six batteries uh, it had FPV it had the camera that adjusted through the remote I mean it had some good options I thought about getting that one because they were the same price but I was kind of comparing the cameras and I think I could sacrifice having a remote operated camera for a 12 megapixel that I don't have to worry about it breaking. You know, I said, if they complained about that thing, the ball one breaking, then I kind of want to stay away from it. When the company even says that about their own product, you know, and that kind of gives me a lot of respect towards that company when they can admit that, hey, look, this product had this problem, but this is how we're fixing it. You know, that shows that they're listening to their customers and taking in what all these customers are saying and improving their product, which is what we need. We need more companies like that that's going to listen to us and improve. Um, if only we could get our government to do the same thing. <laughs> Sorry, I had to throw that one in there. But anyway... I have all I have the sharper one on the 20th and hopefully the Skyco and the Bloomer Key get in quick too. And they're talking about Tuesday or Wednesday. So probably Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, all three days I'll be getting it. You know, and I'll be having to do reviews for three days in a row, which I probably won't be able to do. Um if anything else goes on with the other company, I'll make sure to update and let you know. Um if anybody, like I said, anybody's had this had a experience like that, worse, or had any kind of luck with them, just comment or message me and let me know. Because um, it, it'd be great, you know, to find out how many people they've actually screwed over. Um, now, if they actually make it right, you know, I even told them, if you either send me the drone or refund my money you know and work you know and and do this right i wouldn't have a problem with giving you a positive review especially for the customer service you know i will you know be disappointed if i don't get my product i'm already disappointed that i didn't i got something else but if customer service did their job i could still give a positive review but so far, this is, like I said, this has been going on for a week now. For a week, I've been in talking with these people. And we're still, I haven't gotten nowhere. You know, they just won't give me 30% and let me keep that crap. That's not customer service. You know, now if they want to give me 30% and still send me the drone, phew, Okay, I can work with that, but I doubt that's going to happen. So, but anyways, um, I'm going to throw some videos in, show you this little thing in action. I mean, for a little bitty drone, that's some bright lights. <laughs> My son loves it. But if you see, if you have to go to Walmart, look for this right here they, they unfortunately didn't have the red one all they had was a black and a gray one which is that one on the back of the box um they only had two of them and i grabbed the black one so they had a gray one still so uh go by walmart you know it wasn't the drone section it was ten dollar clearance so check them out see what you see if you want it uh it's definitely worth investing in if you're into micro drones or if you're just starting out and want something where you're not worried about breaking, trying to, you know, work with it. This is perfect for that. Well, I've had three replacement for a year. You can't beat that. And a lot of these companies, if they would do that, you know, I ain't saying do it with every drone. And every company needs to do it, but if more companies stepped up and made one, two, or a couple different drones that they had free replacements on for 
six months to a year, that would bring the drones up big time. You'd have a lot more people willing to do, invest in the one doing that. Um, because that's a lot of people's biggest fear is paying, you know, anywhere between fifty up to three hundred dollars for a drone, maybe more, depending on how much money they got, you know, and how confident they are in themselves. But a lot of people buy something that you know, I hell, I'm one of them. You spend seventy bucks. You don't want the last thing you want to do is crash it, you know. So you don't take you don't want to mess with it too much. You get something like this that has free replacement parts, you're willing to push it. You know, you're willing to see, you know, what you can do and enjoy it more, in my opinion. Um, now, some people are different. You know, everybody's got their own opinions on that. But, anyways, this video's been long enough. Hopefully, we can get, this, get together, get all this stuff figured out. And y'all uh, just keep in touch with me about the companies if any of y'all had any problems with them. Um, if anybody's got any ideas or wants to see a review on a certain product, let me know. I'll do my best to get you answers or to be able to pull one to do a review. Um, right now I'm kind of limited. I'm just trying to work up products as we go. Every day I'm talking to companies, trying to figure stuff out. Um, and get everything on the road, you know, considering this channel's just now starting out. Um, a few companies seen the first video I produced, so we're trying to get up there. You know, I'm not fully professional yet, but I promise. As each video goes, things will get better. I might even put a backdrop behind me. Who knows? But anyways, y'all have a good time. Enjoy yourselves, fly as much as possible, stay legal, stay safe, and watch who you buy from. Don't get screwed like I did, okay? Y'all have a good time. See you later.